everyone, welcome to another Moose Tracks at Home activity. Today we're going to be making plantable paper. Now there are three different types of ways you can make plantable paper. I'm going to show you two ways today. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the way to make it with tissue paper and I'm also going to be showing you how to make it with the clay. So, to get started with the tissue paper, you are going to need one sheet of tissue paper one sheet equals about one of the seed balls for you. Some wild flower seed mix. So I have that there for myself. Uh, some water, which I have right here. Um, so a bowl for each color of tissue paper that you're going to use. So I have one bowl here. Um, some either paper towels with some binder clips or like the chip clips that works or um, cheesecloth something like this I have going and a container for it to drip into a food processor if you have it um, and then if you would like you can use silicone molds or cookie cutters to make your um, plantable paper so we'll get started here with this all so what you're going to want to do is you're going to have your tissue paper. You're going to want to tear up your tissue paper. I already did that for myself just to get myself started. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take some water and you're going to completely cover your tissue paper. So you want it pretty wet. I'm just going to dump the rest of this in there. There we go. Okay. Now, at this time, while your water or while your paper is setting up, you're going to set up your drying station, which I have going over here for myself. Now, you're going to use your blender, or I'm going to be using a hand blender, to mesh up your paper. So, I'm going Get a meshy, like um, kind of almost like paper mache type mesh. It's really gonna be real fine and mixed up, and you can see it's getting easier and easier for me to mix it up. So, okay. And I have another one started for myself. So, and like I said, you're gonna want to use a bowl per each color. So. Now, you're going to take your meshed up items and you are going to pour it over your drying station. So, make sure you have a bowl underneath it. You're going to want to add in your seeds while it's sitting up on this mesh here, okay? I'm going to sprinkle in my seeds. And whatever flowers you would like, it is up to you. Okay. And you're going to kind of roll them in together. Now, if it is still really runny, like mine is, You're going to bring them out a little bit. I'm going to do it over my thing here. And you can make smaller balls um, so that they dry a little faster. They mesh up a little better, all that stuff. But once they are done, it's going to take about 24 hours for it to dry, and then once it is dry, you can give it to somebody, you can plant it somewhere. It's all up to you and what you would like to do. So, pretty sweet and simple. So next, we're going to do the clay um, seed, plantable seed. So what you're going to need is some air drying clay, which I have here. I'm going to break it up a little bit for myself. Okay. 
some water. Your seeds and any like planting dirt, compost pile, whatever. Um, you're gonna want a flat surface. And yet again, if you wanna use like the silicone molds, cookie cutter, whatever, you are more than welcome to. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take five parts of your clay. You're gonna roll it, kind of get it all nice and worked out for yourself. And you're gonna take some seeds, and you're gonna mix them into your clay. So I'm gonna flatten mine out actually. Perfect. And you're gonna wanna add a little bit of water. Um, only a few drops at a time so that it doesn't become super, super of a gooey mess um, because there's not going to be much you can do once it's a gooey mess. Do a small ball. And yet again, it's going to take about 24 to 48 hours for this to dry. Um, once it is dry, you can give it to somebody, you can take it outside and plant it. It's kind of whatever you would like to do, but they're just a fun different way to um, get some flowers started for you all during this spring. So, yet again, we hope you enjoy all the activities that we've shared with you all. You guys are welcome to tag us or post on Facebook of you guys doing your activities. You are also welcome to email us with any of your activities that you have done. We love seeing everything that you do and we look forward to seeing you guys doing more activities with us. Thank you.